What it is guys, the boy Blasphemous HD. I don't know how the hell I lost my voice, but that shit is gone like the birds out this bitch. But today we're here to watch a video called Insanely Creepy Cheater Exposed. It is by one of my favorite uh, pranksters, especially ones that does phone pranks on YouTube. Ownage pranks himself as we tend to chop some parts out so if you want to watch the entire video you're gonna have to click the link in the description down below and go to Onish Pranks channel and watch it there Lego so this guy was on Craigslist looking for a young girl to flirt and hook up with this dude is married and has three kids one of which is a newborn baby god damn that is damn that's fucking low that's pretty fucked up and has a newborn baby. God, jeez. Sending me eight different photos of him sexually penetrating a watermelon. Afterwards, he was left thinking that he had set up a time for some phone sex with Onaji, who's the fake Asian girl he thinks he was talking to. I decided to give things a twist and call him as the girl's husband. The way this prank goes down is truly hysterical. Yo! Oh my god, I need to start watching more of this guy's videos. That is so fucked. I do prank phone pranks and shit. This dude's pranks are on a whole nother level, man. I gotta learn how to change my voice. Maybe I'll just like scream a whole lot and get hoarse like I am now and then do phone pranks. That counts as a different voice, right? Uh, no. <laughs> hello. Yeah, hello. How are you doing? Good. Excellent, excellent. So basically, I caught my wife uh, talking to you and trying to make a cheating and then I found your wife's information and I just want you to apologize man because I'm a heart broken my wife is being like a silly goose on the side uh, and you, you did a lot of mean things so just to avoid any problems or trouble I he really just fucking hung up <laughs> that watermelon fucking son of a bitch at this I don't even understand that watermelon fucking shit though why would you smash a watermelon like is that what's good in the streets right now I don't Really don't understand that shit. Uh -oh. um, Yo, what's up, man? What's up, man? Yeah, I've been trying to call you for so long, and I don't know, like, you've been hanging up on me and stuff like that. You know, I, I don't want to, you know, take any drastic measures, but you're not giving me a choice now, you know? Like, so on Monday, I'm going to have to just go through with it, you know? Well, what do you want, man? What do you want to do? <laughs> you remember me, right? <laughs> yeah, I remember you. I'm sorry, but let's discuss this and let's see those results. So I just want to understand, like, did, w why were you trying to screw ar around with my wife? I wasn't trying to screw around. There's a man on Craigslist. You know, I wasn't thinking out I was drunk, whatever, whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> I love how this dude even admits that he's full of shit. Like, he just runs through a list of possible excuses he could have for the shit. He didn't even give any legitimate excuse. Hey, you know, I made a Craigslist. Uh, it was an ad. I was drunk, uh, yeah, I couldn't see straight, uh, someone else had my computer, I don't know, what, what do you want from me, what, <laughs> this dude is so full of fucking shit, yo. That shit happened, after that, I'm sorry. Shit happened. It didn't mean for it to happen. This is exactly what I've been telling people, man. People are never sorry that they do the fuck shit. They're only sorry that they're caught. Mmm. Wife and kids too, don't you, like, you don't feel bad about that? No, I do feel bad about that. I just want to understand, like, of all the singers, you know, watermelons are very, you know, close to my heart. You know, in my country, <laughs> we love watermelons. That's very... something she suggested. But well, yes, but I'm very sorry. Yeah, well, between you and I, how was it? No, that's stupid. That's terrible. Like, did, did it feel nice at the time? Did, did you did you follow through no, with it? it? It doesn't. it doesn't feel like anything. It's just cold. What the fuck? Come on, bro! Oh my god, these niggas are really going into the description of what fucking a watermelon feels like. That is disgustingly important to me to find out. I would enjoy to know exactly what the inside of a watermelon feels like. Why wouldn't you at least like put it in the oven or microwave it first? Like wouldn't you want to have sex with a warm watermelon? Why would you want it to be cold? Is that just like personal preference? But I never said that stuff. We won't edit that out. Uh, it didn't happen. I really, really, really hate wasting food, but like, did you finish it after, or what did you do with it? I did a half of it, yeah, I didn't make it. Oh, nigga, no! Oh, come on, son! You put your dick in the watermelon and then eat it? Come on, bruh! That is uncouth. Ah, oh! Okay, hold on. Uh, Yabuk, come here. 
Yeah, yeah, I have the watermelon fucker guy on the telephone. Come, come oh. talk to him. Does he, he wants to apologize. Oh. Oh. Hello. I just want to say I'm sorry. Yeah. Are, are you the guy? Are you, are you the guy? Hold on one minute. Hold on. Can I have some privacy at least? You can't trust me that much. Can you just go outside? <laughs> I want to hear him apologizing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Are you the guy I talked to on the email? Yeah, they are on Craigslist and I was talking to him. Yeah, yeah, you, you're, the, you're the guy who fucked the watermelon, right? No, I just stuck in favor, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, but but I saw your cock inside in the picture, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> I look like this, this nigga forgot it was him. You're the guy who fucked the watermelon. No, maybe that wasn't me, that was just my finger. But I saw a picture of your dick in the watermelon. Yeah, that was me. I'm saying. <laughs> Come on, bro. Bro. He, he's outside now. You don't have to write to me, look. I just said, yeah. And I said, I was sorry. I don't. Yeah, no, honestly, between you and I, that turned me on like I so much. I, I rough it up, really, really. It was very adventurous. Yeah, that's, that's got nothing to do with me. I'm not into that no more. You know, I, I know. I appreciate it. Actually, I, I, I don't, don't tell him I tell you, but I, I actually, I, I print it out. And every time I try to sleep at night, I want to get a frisky win. Sometimes I like to... Bruh, this dude, where do you learn to be this good at pronunciating shit in different accents when talking about shit this disgusting? When sometimes I want to get frisky win on myself. <laughs> get frisky. Oh man, since when does cat food describe vagina sex? I get frisky. I never understood that. Uh, uh, flick the bean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I actually, I'm wondering, is there any way you and I can still meet up sometime? No! No! no. Okay, well, anyway, we could at least fuck the counter up for me or something? No! No, I'm not doing that anymore. Why not? Because I don't do that. But you did it. I have a picture of it. What are you talking about? It can be like it can. I'm not be doing it anymore. It was a one-time thing. I'm not doing it ever again. Yeah, I know. But did you ever watch the movie American Pie? And that movie, the guy he do the fucking with a pie, Bruh. right? But in a different, you do the watermelon. You can have American watermelon. Ha! <laughs> you, you get it? Yeah. 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 I'm not doing that. A book. What's taking so long here? Oh, just give me one second. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, okay, so, so you speak to my wife, right? I tell her I'm sorry, yeah. Okay, I appreciate it. So I like to think of myself as the relationship vigilante. You understand what that means? No, I don't know. I had to fix my own marriage because my wife was making a bullshit. Don't exhale. I know you're annoyed, but trust me, talking to me now is better than the alternative, okay? So suck it up and deal yeah. with it. But yeah, given the fact that it's taken this long for me to finally get a hold of you, I, I am glad you picked up because honestly, Monday I went to the, the Kinko's uh, printing place already and I had actually 300 copies of the pictures printed out. We're going to pass them out, but we're not going to do that. Uh, you see, I spent $10 on the printing at the Kinko's, so I, do I want my $10 back so like will you donate like will you voluntarily like donate ten dollars to charity so where did you got my donate ten dollars to well i don't know what about like you know water.org something like this you know like feed the children i think that would be a nice gesture well, I'll find charity donate. okay so you will donate the ten dollars right yeah as soon as i can i will okay perfect and just the last thing for my gratification can you say i said i'm sorry abdu i never meant to fuck the melon but tonight i'm <laughs> donating money uh, what the fuck? Come on, son. Oh, not the Eminem. I'm sorry, Mama song, bro. That's what this. The fuck. Oh yeah, dude. I never meant to fuck that. Man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yo! Killing it, my brother. Killing it. I said I'm sorry, Abdu. I never meant to hurt her. I never meant to fuck the melon, but tonight I'm donating money, and then if we can just do it over the beat. Come on! No! Come on, bro! Come oh. on! Oh, yes. Come on! Cleaning out the closet. <laughs> of the creepers. Yo! Fucking the watermelon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Drop the beat. Go no. ahead. Go, 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 go. Sorry, I'm <laughs> I never meant to hurt her, but tonight, sucking a watermelon and donating to charity. 
okay, honestly, like that was really fucking off. Come but you know, I'm gonna yo, let it slide. You come on, bro. I'm done. I'm so done, yo. This shit gonna make me cry, man, bro. That is foul, yo. It was good. Okay, my brother, have a good day. I'm sorry, you know, if I know I, I upset you, but just know this is now over. You will never hear from me again. Your wife won't find out. But the moral of the story is what? You cannot take your relationship for granted. Especially when you have a kid, right? If you, if, let's say, hypothetically speaking, your kids grow up and then they see on the internet, you are fucking the watermelon, right? Very embarrassing, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, when, when life gives you watermelons, you put your penis in it. That is the philosophy you were following, but you should not do that. Okay, okay, okay. okay no problem. You know this was 100% real because the guy kept apologizing. Like, you just know, okay? I've done fucked up stuff to people. I've done some stuff like this, a little bit like this to people. I haven't recorded it, but I've done it. This is exactly what the fuck they sound like, man. God, jeez, that was too fucking funny, man. Oh, man. <laughs> he made this nigga sing. <laughs> to the beat and everything. I don't know how this dude did not fucking bust out in the laughter while he was doing this shit to the dude. That's real shit. I don't know how. I don't know how he was able to keep his composure, man. I done lost it. I done lost the fuck out of that shit. It started fucking rolling, yo. But, yo, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go check out the original video over on Onage Pranks channel. The link is in the description down below. That's where you have to go to watch the entire video. Because as you guys already know, we chop parts out. So if you want to see the whole video, you got to go and watch it on the original channel, which is, of course, Onage Pranks. This is your boy Blast from Sage D. God, Jesus, bro. This shit made my whole day. Twisms, man. This shit was too fucking funny.